What is your birth given name? Natasha and Samuel. What is the name that you go by? Debo. It's Debo! It's this guy that I can't wait to watch. Long before Tyshawn Samuel was making a name for himself as a 49ers wide receiver, he was a dominant two-sport athlete in his hometown of Inman, South Carolina. But it was his off-the-field antics that gave him a reputation. I wouldn't say that he just like did stuff all the time, but you know, he was mischievous at the time. He did a little stuff. Wherever I took D-Ball, I don't care around. Anybody's kid, whatever they got, He's gonna take it, man. He's gonna take it and play with it, do what he want to do with it. Tyshawn's wild child behavior earned him a very distinctive nickname. I really don't remember when the nickname like started, but uh, I remember his first time telling me the story about when I was like nine, ten years old. He was like, "You know, you named after a bully in a movie." Here come Debo. Give me your stuff. That bully was Debo from the 1995 blockbuster Friday, starring and written by Ice Cube. Who or what inspired that incredibly magnificent character? Well, I think everybody has confronted a Debo-like character at some point in their life and had to deal with it. So he's the ultimate boogeyman. What you got, Craig? I'm broke as a joke. Y'all some high rollers, and y'all broke. He's that quintessential bully that everybody has encountered at one point in their life. Tyshawn grew out of his troublemaking phase, but the nickname followed him everywhere. No matter where he went, Debo, 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 Debo. That's all you're gonna hear people say. When do you really remember the nickname Debo taking over the name Tyshawn? When I was 12 years old, um, Little League football, nobody ever like called me like Tyshawn besides my stepmom. Now it translates over to the football field. The mindset I have, like one guy's not gonna tackle me and the first guy's always gonna feel the pain. What is the one play that you would put on your highlight reel this year that was like the most kind of Debo-esque, if you will? Oh, uh, I would say the one-hand catch on the sideline against the Cardinals where I had to reach over the dude and then he tossed it in the air and then I got it again and then got my two feet down and took a shot in the back. You know, if you got a name like Debo, I want to see why. And I watched him play. He's a bully. I'm pretty sure he can take a bike or two. <laughs> Hold my bike. Yeah. I'm Debo, and I'm looking for that dude named Debo Samuels rocking my name. You tell him I've been here and I'm looking for him. So, I mean, it really does translate for you on the field. It do. You kind of like step into character, if you will, or your alter ego. Oh, like when, like when I. What's up, fam? <laughs> What's up, man? What's How you doing? Up? I need a chair, man. <laughs> hey, y'all need a chair. Did we surprise you? <laughs> you definitely did. I was like, what the world? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Debo, what do you think of Debo Samuel? He's rocking my name for real. Everybody's talking about this cat. Every time Debo Samuel touches the ball, he makes his opponents feel that he's going for six. He's not just catching the ball, it's what he do after. He's relentless and he opposes his will. I like that one, he did that spin. That's, that's straight New Jack, yeah. Everybody talking about that. Samuel's rookie campaign has been impressive with over 950 yards and six touchdowns heading into Super Bowl 54. And while he takes what he wants on the field, is he worthy of being crowned Debo? Shoot, he rocking that name for real. <laughs> I'm ready to give him the bicycle. <laughs> Do you give Debo Samuel your ultimate blessing to rock the name Debo? He has my blessing. Rock it well, baby. Take somebody chain. Make us proud. Go get what you're supposed to get. Super Bowl ring. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.